What's going on everybody? So I've had some news recently that I wanted to share with you all. Um, something I've been real passionate about and that I've been refraining from putting in the public for a while now. Um, it's been in effect for, for quite some time now. I just haven't quite put it out there. I've been kind of acting on it quietly. So it's in effect. Um, I still got some paperwork and stuff to figure out, but for the most part, everything that I want to do is actually being done right now. So with more to come in the future, of course, you know, you got to start somewhere. But right now, um, I want to share what I've done. So those of you that do know, I have a clothing brand. It's called Incline, Incline Wear. Um, me and my sister started the clothing brand to hold ourselves accountable in our new lifestyle change that we made. It, um, it was designed to just kind of like, you know, wear your own brand, just like everybody wants to wear their own brand, look in the mirror and be like, I did that. This is me. This is the definition of me. So that's what Incline was, you know, it's being a better version of yourself every day. And that's what we've done. That's what we've aimed to do at least. So for a while now, I've actually wanted to take it also in another direction besides just clothing and actually be more hands on with what I what I'm passionate about. And that's helping people change the way I changed through getting in the gym. So there was a lot a lot to do with the way I changed. I got sober, um, you know, growth and maturity, being scared straight might play a big part of it, you name it. It was a couple different things. But the biggest thing that really helped me uh, pull somebody else out of me that needed to come out was getting in the gym. And some people might argue and say the gym's not for everybody. I strongly agree with that. I understand that. Training as hard as I train is not for everybody. Train is, training is, training to, for performance to be an athlete is not for everybody. But exercise itself, daily, daily exercise, being concerned about your health is for everybody. You know, nutrition. And, and, and whether it's just moderate, light exercise is for everybody. Everybody needs to not be sedentary, not just be seated all day. Or Everybody needs to be active. I believe it's, it's for mental health, it's for physical health, it's to live a long lasting life, you know? And uh, it helps you focus, it helps you just zero in on, on what need, what's important. Um, so, I was incarcerated for a while, I've been incarcerated multiple times. Every time I've gotten incarcerated, I worked out constantly. 95% of people in there work out constantly. Every time I got out, I didn't, I didn't do a push-up. I didn't do, I was, I picked up the bottle, I got straight to partying immediately. Which most people that get incarcerated do. They don't have the gym support when they get out. They don't have the proper, some people, you're, you're felons, you don't make the, the, the right money to, to get out and pay for a gym membership. You don't have gym transportation. It's hard to work out and stay motivated once you get out. Even though that's all you did while you're in there, you know, you, you, there's nothing else better to do. It helps you stay focused. You know how it is. When you're in there, you, you're stressing. Um, you, you know, you, there's nothing else better to do. You want to come home with a better body, but people can't stick with it when they get out. So this was designed to help felons and ex-convicts, and not only them, but people suffering with substance abuse, you could be just a single parent struggling with kids and, and just not really, you're not happy with your body, yourself, your appearance, mentally, you're not, you're just not doing great. It's for the people that need help, need support, need the motivation to get in the gym. So what I wanted to do was get people free gym memberships, people that need them. People that really can't pay for them, people that they, they, that's not their first priority to pay for, but know they want to deep down. Free gym memberships hold them accountable, of course. You can't just get a free gym membership and barely use it. Um, you got to go twice a week. So right now, I've got free gym memberships for people. i got six people, three in, three different, or three in two different gyms. Uh, I'm trying to expand it eventually. So uh, it's paid for and my goal is to get the people that I have in there um, to stick with it. If not, if they, don't, if they figure out it's not best for them, I can swap them out with somebody who is ready. Down the line, I do seek gym transportation, a more like, you know, funding for rides to the gym. Um, you know, however I get the gym transportation, it's hard to just, you know, bring, get a van and tell everybody hop in. Everybody's got different schedules, you know, this and that. They want to go at different times. So gym transportation is in the future. Um, just support, uh, maybe training 
free training sessions or free um, workouts, free uh, guides, like free workout guides included in the package, included in the um, in the organization. So free gym memberships, support, guides, free personal training in the future, free gym transportation, meal plans, whatever. Um, I'm trying to help the people that in the way that I was helped. I came home with a little bit more support maybe than the average person getting out of those situations. So I wanna help the people that don't might, that might not have the support that I have. So we're in effect, Incline Foundation is the name of it. Um, it's, it's in full effect right now. That's it, I wanted to share it. I don't know why I refrained from sharing it. You know, I just wasn't ready yet. I didn't know, I didn't have all the, it all in place but it doesn't need to be all in place, you know? We're, we're taking it one step at a time, but I wanted to share my idea with you and what's going on because we've been kind of keeping this name. We've been putting it out there, like, slowly, and, you know, people have probably seen it and been like, what is this? And we have some followers on Instagram that are probably like, I don't even know what I'm following this page for. But because on behalf of Incline and because of us, they probably knew it was a good cause. We do have it listed as a nonprofit, and that's that's what we're aiming it as, so. I'm trying to help people, you know what I mean? And I'm not passionate about helping just everybody. I, I'm not, honestly, you know? there's, I like to stick to my lane, you know? Some, that's that's just what I, I want to see everybody do good. Of course, I, I love people, I want to help everybody. But what I'm ac actually passionate about is helping people see the light that I saw and follow the same path that I found that I never thought existed. So if I can get other people to find the same path that I found, it'll mean the world to me. So that's my goal right now. Um, with that being said, I appreciate y'all. Incline Wear, Incline Foundation, we're coming at you. Um, we got a whole you know, list of things that we're trying to do right now. Zobot, new Zobot drop in the night. If you don't know who Lorenzo Talaferro was, amazing guy, man. Crazy mindset, accomplished great things in life, has a family. Happy Father's Day him yesterday, rest in peace. And with that being said, I appreciate y'all. Until next time.